Okay, this is a uh, story seventeen for uh Okay, this is a uh, story seventeen for uh for for Mr. Nass commentary episode two. That that's right. Uh, that's right. Today today is a twofer. Can, can today, uh, today we're gonna today we're gonna watch a uh, well. What what I see uh, the video we're gonna watch now is called uh, poking poking the buzz valve. And uh, I well, see a lot of people uh, make, you know make fun of buzz valve. So um. So and I uh, see see this this is this is a commentary on a commentary, well a commentary, a commentary on a commentary, yeah. And I uh, well uh, well you see well, uh, well you see I wanted to do this uh, uh, to do a commentary on another best film commentary, but it's uh, not available right now. So so we're gonna watch uh, so we're, so we're gonna watch. Uh, Poking the Blue Cell Part 1 from, uh, from Metal House Spawn. Well, well, we're gonna watch both parts. Uh, <coughs> let's, uh, start. Alright, before we start this commentary, I want to address that, yes, I am well aware that Boomstick and Dark Scream 217 have already done commentaries on this. But, at the same time, I just want to have some fun with it, okay? Well, it'll probably be a two-parter, and it's just gonna be me fucking around and joking with Blizz Valve, okay? So, let's get to his October 31 is here video. Which is a really weird title. <laughs> oh, wow, Blizz Valve, thank you for joining me. Probably my favorite song. I'm gonna go kill myself now. Yo, sup? It's the guy who does the Blizz Valve character. Yeah, motherfucker, what up, bitch? Not at all, that. And I know Blue Boomstick did that joke. I, I don't care. I'm a horrible person at heart. Bullshit is done. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm great. How are you? you might be wondering what all of this 1031st brouhaha is all about. <laughs> oh, I love that word. Brouhaha. Well, you'll see later on. But now we'll talk about the history of Blizz Valve. Oh, do we have to? Well, okay. Blizz Valve started in 1833 as a young Scottish man who had a fear of chainsaws came to America. Oh, it was a wonderful time of tea, drinking, and getting drunk off your ass, and, uh, you know, let's just hear what he has to say, actually. It all started back in GameSpot. It was... That doesn't sound like 1833 with a man who hates chainsaws at all. I am der pest now. This forum called System Wars, which was a fun place to be at the time. Sure, there was nothing but whiny fanboys and poor excuses for trolls. Wow, you must have been having a great time there. But it was always fun owning them for every retarded thing they said. Mostly when I responded to myself and owned myself. Am I right, lol? How the name came along was when I was having... Uh, are you... Are, are you shitting me? How the name of Blizz Valve came along. That's a tough one. Trouble coming up with a username for myself. And then I was thinking of my two favorite game developers. Nintendo and Sega? Blizzard Entertainment, which is now turned to shit. And Valve Corporate. Oh, Valve sucks ass because they're pussies. They're like... No, I don't want to develop for TPS Trizzle. It's too hard. I don't want to challenge myself as a developer. <laughs> anyway, on to the commentary. Remembering the days when they were both owned by Vivendi. Blip. What's a Vivendi? His valve was born. He was born from the frosty Vivendi womb of Ann Coulter's uh, loins. It's like a game company or a... Uh, oh, God, I think I just threw up in my mouth. I had a bunch of good laughs owning fanboys, made some good friends, and had fun in the long run. It wasn't until the Gertzman situation that made me leave the site. That and everyone on that site was becoming so dumb that it wasn't even funny anymore. I mean, there's, a, there's funny, and then there's just not funny anymore. And this was that. So I was led over to YouTube. Here is what gave me my inspiration for video making. And this is where I saw people like the angry video game nerd in Armic 21. What's an Armic? Is that like something, a device that makes arms or something? 
Both are extremely entertaining video makers who still keep it funny with the cursing and try to make their reviews as serious as possible. Well, we, um, well, well, well as uh, the self said, <clears throat> but, uh, um, our mag is uh, it, it, it's a user on YouTube, or a, or or or, or you can be on another site. Uh, um, I don't know. But uh, uh, but uh, he said uh, he said but our mag is and I uh, and so um uh, so, so you know what uh what our mag is. Oh yeah, Angry Video Game Nerd, that's some serious shit right there. You can't get any more realistic, serious, and gritty than fighting Freddy Krueger. However, there are many other dumb posters who make countless rip-offs, who either curse way too much that it makes it sound retarded, or are too bland that it makes their videos boring. Good lord, I've heard of self-rejection, but this is ridiculous. Trust me, I saw a ton of them. For once, I, for once, I looked at my own channel. It was insane. Also, there were these users who were very popular, but also had huge egos and a sense of elitism that makes them the most retarded users I've ever met. So you met yourself? That's amazing. How do you... Is that dimensional shit or something? Like, are you talking to a mirror or what? Okay, that but that awful. would be later on. Along with them came the trolls, who think they're so cool and being the internet tough guys by starting random fights with people. They say they do it for the lols. To be fair, I'm doing this for the lols, so... <laughs> uh, ironic. They think we're with no meaning, but in reality, it just makes them an ass who has absolutely no life outside the basement. <laughs> People live in their basements? That sounds horrendous. I'm so afraid of the basement. Even with those idiots, I decided to get started in the video making business. And what a business it was! I tell you, it was a crack a lackin' business! People would flock for miles to see YouTube videos! It was the sensation of the 1840s, I tell you what! I got myself a mic and some new video editing software because Windows Movie Maker was too clunky to work with and went on to start something. However, what I started was the remake of V. I don't know why, but every time I speak into the mic, it sounds different. Oh, what? Why? Why? It's always in really bad quality and messes around with the pronunciations. Okay, for one, pron pronunciate. See, yeah. See, even I mess up at times, but it's pronunciation, okay? And second of all, you're blaming your mic? Are you shitting me? Your mic? Look, I'm a hypocrite here. Yeah, I, 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 I,